Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your 4.3.5 iPhone 4, any 3G's, iPod Touch 4G and 3G, and also the iPad 1 using the newest Red Snow. So, alright, so to start this tutorial, the first thing you want to do always connect to USB first. That's the first step in every jailbreak. Now, what you want to do is open up Red Snow. So, I still have it in zip file, so it might take a while here, but I don't think so. That's how my computer works, and that's all. So now open up Red Snow. And this is how the new uh, Red Snow looks like. It's updated. It's really cool, awesome uh, Red Snow updation, or whatever it's called, yeah. But mm, what I like about this new Red Snow, you do not need to install an iPod software. It automatically finds it on your iPod or iPhone. So here's how this works. The first thing you want to do is click on Jailbreak and Install Cydia. So now once you click that, it will ask you to put your device in DFU mode. But if you are, if you do not know the steps, click Next and it, you just follow. But you, you already know how to put it in DFU mode. You can do it just right now. So how you can do it is just... Uh, first of all, hold home button and the uh, power button for 10 seconds. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let go of the power button. Hold the home button for 15 seconds. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then you can let it go once it starts exploding. There, mine's already jailbroken, but uh, I'm just gonna show you the steps here. So yeah, it will be saying uploading to the first steps, and patching files, patching the kernel, and all that kind of stuff. So all you do is just wait a while. And if your iPod, uh, you all may already know, but for those jailbreakers, jailbreakers that just uh. This is your first video, it will turn white screen, that means completely normal. And there you go, now it's waiting for reboot. So now it's about to reboot here. And there's the jailbreaking data, patching the kernel. It's rebooting the iDevice right now. You probably cannot see that, but it actually is. And now, there you go. Now right here, you select your options. You can install Cydia, install custom bundle, enable battery percentage, and enable multitask gestures. So what I'm going to be using is install Cydia, and battery percentage, and also the multitask gestures. So now once you've done that, uh, or selected any of your options, click next, and it will keep on jailbreaking your device. So It's really bad quality right now, I'm not sure why. There you go. So yeah, it's still jailbreaking, and as you can see on my iDevice, it it does say downloading jailbreak data. So just keep a while here waiting until so it's done jailbreaking completely. You guys can just skip to the next part if you already know, or if you're on this step, you always do skip to the next part just in case you don't want to mess up or something. But you don't have to wait. Unfortunately, I do. So yeah, you can skip to the next part. Almost finished here. Still uploading the RAM disk. Not sure what that is, but yeah. Uploading kernel. Now we will start rebooting your device. And uh, the rest of this process takes place on your iPod Touch or iPhone, and you don't have to worry anything else on the computer except leaving your USB 
on that's basically all you need the computer for for right now so you can just close uh red snow down just by clicking uh cancel but uh oh never mind don't close it yet sorry what to do is click back and since it's a tethered jailbreak unfortunately and what that means is uh, whenever you turn off your device and you're gonna turn it back on you have to connect it back onto your computer and kind of read jailbreak or just boot tether did it again so now on the iDevice as you can see here it has that pineapple there running I guess and it's installing down here as you can see there now it's rebooting that only takes a couple of seconds and now it's rebooting here Again, do not close Red Snow. That was a mistake I made earlier. Do not close it down. It's really important. Well, you can't close it down, but you will have to open it back again. Sorry about that, ignore that. It takes a while for my iPod to reboot. I forgot to say that this uh, version of Red Snow is a 0.9.9 B1. It, you could probably see that up here, or maybe not, I'm not sure. But it will be somewhere in the video title or description, I guess. And there will also be a download link for the newest Red Snow down in the description, also. And yeah, that's about it. Still rebooting here. Sorry for the long video guys, but this is probably how m many jailbreaks are. Or, yeah, the ones that are full review or full details and all that kind of stuff. I am not sure why it's taking this long. It's not really like this all at all. Okay, I think it's about to be done uh, turning on, I guess, because it just said on the computer again, warn me, or it's popped up that it's almost completely done and it's connected to the computer. But I'm not sure, so let's just keep waiting for a little bit more, and if not, I'll just make a part two of this video. Or maybe not. I'll just explain the steps right now just in case it's not done booting up I guess so basically once uh, you turn it on a uh, city you won't be able to open up city yet so it will be blank a blank icon and it will not show city on there so what you want to do is uh, obviously that's what red snow is for the tether jailbreak so if you close down accidentally red snow or you close it down when I said to close it down because I said it accidentally all you have to do is open up back Red snow, and here it goes. Right up here. All right then. So just wait till it opens up for a while. Still haven't turned on. I don't know why. I'll just fix this step later. Don't worry, this won't happen to you guys. Maybe this happened to me because mine was already jailbroken and I did it again. Not sure, but yeah, I'll just fix it later. Don't worry about doing this, guys. Yours will be completely fine, just like mine did. 
and yeah. Why won't Red Snow open? Okay, now if you just click, uh, slide it down real quick. If you just click, uh, Red Snow, I mean extras obviously, and just click, uh, yours will be turned on, but I had to just click, uh, just, just boot right here in the tethered. Uh, you probably cannot see that, but it is right here, right there. So you just click it, and I'm gonna be showing you right now. Put your iPod on the FU mode. Hold both for 10 seconds, the power button and the home button, so it turns off. One, two, and now let it go. Hold home button for 15 seconds, obviously. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Blah, there you go. It will be exploring. Your iPod will turn on, and Cydia will be completely normal. You can just uh, use it and enjoy, I guess. This is normal again. Yeah. Well, your iPod is finally jailbroken once you completed all these steps. Don't forget to comment, rate, and especially subscribe. And I'll subscribe right back if you send me a message, which would I say in all my videos. So, yeah, I need the subscribers, guys. Please help me out. Now, this is Touch Expert signing out.